What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Papa Jelly Bean. I am back. I'm back with another how-to, this time for Starfield. What I thought I would do was show you how to install Mod Organizer 2 for Starfield. Now, you're going to say, well, you already did a video on how to install Mod Organizer 2. I did, but what's different is for Starfield, it's done a little bit different. You have to go to their Discord in order to get it because it is specifically designed for Starfield. I'm not sure if I can use it for Fallout or Skyrim, but I'm sure it's going to try. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to the Mod Organizer 2 Discord. I will leave a link in the description. What you're going to come down to is Installer. Now what I've done is I've highlighted it because when you click on it, it opens up in Microsoft Edge. I'm not sure this is going to be for everyone, but for me, Microsoft Edge is blocking the download. I have no idea why, but for some reason, it is blocking the download. So all I did was, to work around that, was I highlighted it, and I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go to my Mod Organizer, and as you can see, I'll do it again. And as you can see, now you can download it. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm going to save on that little trip. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go to your whatever drive your game is installed. Mine is installed on D drive. If you have your game installed on another drive, then use that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make sure it's Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common. That's where your game folder is. What we're going to do now is we're going to make a new folder call it modding then we're going to open up modding and we're going to make another new folder we're going to call this one mo2 then we're going to make another folder I know a lot of folders gotta make a lot of folders now what we're going to do is mo2 dash starfield enter now, if you're going to use this for Fallout or uh, Skyrim, you just simply make a new folder, mo2-fallout to uh, mo2-starf um, Skyrim. So once that's done, we're going to open our mo2 folder, go to our downloads, and we're just going to drag in the executable. So now we can close our downloads. What we're going to do now is we're going to double click on the execu executable. For some reason this keeps popping up. I have no idea why. And then we're going to run it. Click on yes. Now we're going to accept. Hit next. Now here it shows you that it's going to do, for some reason, it always wants to install on C drives. I have no idea why. Every video I've ever watched, it always wants to go to C drive. What you're going to do is you're going to come to Browse, go down to your D drive or whatever game that you, whatever drive you have the game installed, open up Modding, highlight the MO2 folder, press OK, double check, make sure it is where you're going to want it to go. Hit next. Do not touch anything in here. Everything here is already all set up, ready to go. You don't need to touch anything. Hit next. Yes, we want to keep it as mod organizer. Click next. Yes, we want to create a desktop. Click next. Now double check all of this. Make sure everything is the way you want it. And then hit install. Now, the other folder that we made, the MO2-Starfield, that's going to contain all our downloads, our overrides, our plugins, our profiles, everything that we need to mod Starfield. We're going to want to launch it. Now, you must create a new instance. If that comes up, just press OK, because now we're going to make a new instance. We're going to hit Next. Now, we have a portable instance. Now what a portable instance does is it'll allow you 
And if you use portable, you have to create and go through all of this for each and every single game you install. We're going to be using this one here, the global instance. What a global instance is, is you only have to do this once and then you can just add in, like I said, we have the star field, MO2 star field, then you can add an MO uh, Fallout 4 or Skyrim. So that is what a global instance is. You do not have to create a separate mod organizer icon for each and every game. Then we're going to look for the game that we're doing and we're doing this for Starfield. We're going to leave the name the same. We're going to hit next. Hit next. Now here's the location. It automatically wants to go to your app data. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either click on these three dots here or you can go down to show advanced options. So we're going to want to change the base directory. Now if you look here, downloads, mods, profiles, and overwrites, this is what's going to be going into that mo 2 star field. So click on the three dots, go to your D drive, modding, mo 2 and make sure that is highlighted. Hit select folder, double check before we do anything, make sure that's where we want it, hit next. Then just const just go through all of this and just make sure everything is hunky dory. Hit finish. You will have to log into your um, Nexus account. Now I'm not sure about this part. Use old category defaults. I have no idea how that works. I've never used it. I'm kind of new to mod organizer too. I always say do nothing. Mod Organizer is now set up to handle MX, M, NXM links. What an NXM link is, is when you go in to download a mod and it says download with manager. That is what your NXM links are. So you're going to hit yes. So everything is here. You have your plugins, your archives, your data, your saves, and your downloads. Now, like I was saying, I'm just going to show you real quick is if you want to add Fallout or Skyrim, you simply come up here to this little whatever it is and create a new instance. What you're going to do then is you're just going to go through the steps. You do not have to download Mod Organizer 2 again. So that is how you're going to add new instances if you like. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you, uh, where is it? I think it's here. No, that's not what I want. Now here we can do the general the theme. Here's where you can change the theme. One thing about Mod Organizer 2, it has a lot of fantastic themes. I always go with the dark one. Then click on that again, and what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to Nexus. What we want to check is make sure that it says connected. If it isn't connected, simply click on the connect to Nexus and sign in and it will connect you. Now I'm going to download a mod real quick so that you can see how Mod Organizer works. So what we're going to do is we're going to install the Star HUD. It's simple, it's easy, there's no fiddling around or anything. It just gives you a basic idea of how to install a mod. I'm going to click down. There is the NXM links. I'm going to open up our mod organizer again. And here you see it in here in your download. Now you have two choices. You can either right click and hit install or you can double click. Now I always proceed. I don't not sure what these other two mean but I always hit proceed. Now, whether it's right or wrong, I don't know, but what I always do is I use the drop-down menu. I make sure I highlight the version that I have here in the downloads. So you see the 1805, so I'm going to do that. I don't know whether it's right or wrong, but I've never had any issues. Now, Mod Manager, we're doing this with MO2. And then just go through here. Now I'm going to do 60 FPS because I have a mid-range computer. If you have a high-end computer, you just click on the 120 or if you have a low-end computer, hit on the 30. Hit next. 
install. The mod is now installed. All you have to simply do is come over here and check. Mods installed, mods enabled. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. The algorithm will love you. I'll love you. Everyone will love you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Move your mouse a little to the right. And hit that bell icon so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And always remember, wherever their journey takes you, may the road rise up to greet you. I'm Jellybean, and thank you so very much for watching.